we talked a little bit about uh, this is our chance to put a stamp of what Texas A&M volleyball is going to be across the SEC. Uh, and I think we've done a good job of doing that in two matches. Uh, obviously, one ended up with a win and one ended up with a loss. Um, in the win, I thought we came out from the very beginning and kind of said, hey, this is who we are and this is how we're going to play. Uh, and that was good enough to beat a good Mississippi State team. Um, and then we turned around, and this is really kind of a hard schedule right now where we kind of have Wednesday, Sunday, and then we turn around on the road again and play Florida again on Wednesday. So um, I thought we went to Arkansas. Uh, our team's not 100% right now. There's something going around in the air. Uh, but I thought, one, we were good enough to beat that team, um, which was an encouraging sign to me. Uh, and two, we've talked about just the way that we handle our mentality uh, of being able to stay focused for long periods of time as a muscle that we need to work out in order to be a great volleyball team. Uh, and I thought we were able to play at a high level for three and a half sets. And then I thought the wheels fell off. Um, but the fact that we were able to do that for three and a half sets and sit and grind when maybe we weren't at our 100% was really, really encouraging to me. And uh, it shows me that we're growing as a volleyball team. We'll go back behind the lights on TV Row to Tyler and then Ben. Yeah, Jamie, what was uh, Logan Lednicki's you know performance like against Arkansas, and just kind of what what does she bring to, to this team? <laughs> yeah, Logan decided to pop off. Um, yeah, uh, it was it was a good matchup, and uh, I know she had a really good match against them last year too. Um, and it was which she started to kind of take some swings that were kind of showing some range that she could kind of attack some weaknesses in Arkansas's block, uh, and we decided to milk it. But uh, she's an amazing volleyball player. And I think she's capable of doing that every single night. But I think the thing that make them, that's going to make this version of this team as good as it's going to be is the fact that we have a lot of those on our team right now. And we're going to have different people on different nights that pop off like that. So uh, highly, highly encouraging. She's a one of a kind volleyball player. We're lucky to have her, but we're lucky to have the entire team. We'll go to the right side of TV Row to Ben. Kind of bouncing off that, uh, not even specifically with Logan. I mean, I guess that was the case yesterday. but. Uh, when, when you have someone who's, you know, I, I know you want to get a balanced attack and, yeah. and be unpredictable, but also with numbers being numbers, you know, she's hitting 440. How do you kind of go about trying to, you know, still ease in other people, but also say, hey, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Say both of those things at the same time. Uh, it's pretty much what we said. It was like, hey, if it's broke, don't fix it, but try to sprinkle in a little bit here so we're keeping them off balance. Um, it was, I think, the exact language that was used. So you should coach. Uh, um, I think it was something along those lines. It was like, hey, this is working. We're not going to truly go away from it, but we don't want them. They started to kind of hedge that way, and she was still getting kills. So the conversation was, hey, they're hedging that way, so we're going to have this open. Find your spots to use it, but if this is still working, keep going to it. Cool. I'll let you know if I apply for grad school. Cool. Let um, me know. But uh, also just, uh, you know, you mentioned it too, the second half of that four set, you know, seemed like, you know, I don't know if it was the service returns or exactly. Where, where did you kind of sense the kind of wearing down? Was it just the, the physical endurance of yeah. the whole thing or was it something they started to do? Or? Yeah, I, I think it's a combination of a bunch of things. Uh, I think one, again, I think physically uh, and mentally, just in terms of energy systems, like, again, we're, we're not at 100% right now. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to talk about and not allowed to talk about with HIPAA, but uh, like, there's some fatigue stuff going on. So I think that was a piece of it, and that obviously affects mentality also a little bit of like you'd only have a certain amount of mental energy to kind of stay focused. But that was the longest I've seen this team do what we did for three and a half cents against, again, apparently the 16th ranked. I still think they're 15th in my head, but um, the 16th ranked team in the country. And we were right there. And uh, I thought the first set we made too many unforced errors, but we had 18 kills. Uh, and we were able to stay focused and play our brand of volleyball. The second set we won being a little bit cleaner. Uh, third set, we talked about it. It started to happen there. There were two little mental blips in that set where we bled three points, and then we bled three points again. Uh, but it's us growing in those moments. And then the fourth set, we were up 8-3. All of a sudden, we were going. And then again, I just felt like it, that was the moment where we got to get uh, squeeze that muscle just a little bit longer. But I'm happy we had that against Arkansas because we're going to have the exact same match against Florida on Wednesday. Uh, and if we can do what we just did for a little bit longer, I think we can beat Florida. We'll go front row on the right side to Travis and then the battalion. Yeah, I know this kind of schedule you don't have a whole lot of say in, but do you nope. like playing Florida this early in the season or do you wish you had more time? Is there What's the coaching uh, philosophy on that? Uh, they, uh, they lost a really good volleyball player that I had the privilege of coaching with U18s a couple years back, uh, their setter. 
Um, and I think they're having to adjust to that right now. I think it's why you've seen them go five with Auburn. You've seen them go five with Georgia last night. Um, so I'm not disappointed in playing them right now. I don't think we're the best version of us yet. We're going to grow with time, I think, faster than some other teams because I'm new here. Um, but in terms of where they're at, in terms of trying to figure out how to how to supplement that loss, I'm, I'm happy we get to play them right now. Also, I think they've played like 37 sets of volleyball in the last two weeks. So uh, I'm sure they're a little gassed too. We'll go third row on the left side to the battalion. Coach, coming off your first true SEC road game, what can you take away from that, especially going into this Florida game? And then I think you have like three uh, other road matchups in the next two weeks. Yeah, kind the, of, the how, SEC, how does that prepare you? The SEC is rowdy. That's, uh, I like it. Uh, fans get after you. Uh, they made me chuckle a couple times. Uh, but uh, that's one of the things that I took. Um, second thing, we're just lucky and blessed to be in the SEC. Uh, just uh, I'm big about gratitude in our program. Just uh, we chartered on the way home, and I got to put my daughter to bed last night. Um, that was the other thing that I really came home being like, man, I'm really grateful to be at a university like this that I've said it before, takes women's sports uh, seriously and gives us the resources to get our athletes home so they go to school, but my staff home so that we can spend time with our family. Um, and then just going back, I've been reiterating this, man, the SEC is going to be a grind this year. Uh, Tennessee swept Kentucky last night. Uh, I thought we pushed Arkansas. Georgia went five with Florida. Auburn went five with Florida. Uh, it, it's I could see whoever wins this thing having five losses. I don't I don't think it's going to be this thing where we get to the end of the year and uh, some team's going to go undefeated in the SEC. So I think the the biggest thing that I'm seeing from playing the teams that we're playing, um, from seeing what's going on around the SEC, like it's going to be a dogfight. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you all.